Hello everybody, my name is Miguel, welcome back to Pocket Mirror. So after the last episode where we uh, encountered a weird girl in this little mirror room, we ended up having some trouble, I ended up having some trouble in the chase scene. We met this girl, her name is Harpay, and uh, she, I, I just, she just found me in here and I'm, and I found her here. So I'm just gonna explore some shit. Ooh, a pumpkin charm. I don't know what that, what good that will do, but. The flames danced eerily in hurried, spontaneous movements, illuminating their surroundings with a faint yet warm glow. Well, that's nice to know. Oh, those are just my study journals. <laughs> I was required to have a pretty, pretty sturdy education when I was a child. I see. That must have been tough. Not at all. It was a very important task I had to see through. You're so diligent, Miss Harpay. Please, call me Harpay. Harpay. Nice smile. But I feel like something could be... Something might be up with her. Maybe. I'm not sure. A great variety of objects rest on the numerous shelves. And then, the, yeah, that's the same shit here. There's a book here. It's too dark to read it. Oh, can I... Can I, uh... Bring bring the light to it, maybe. Bring it to the light, maybe it's possible. Uh, the shelves are covered with rows of complex literature titles such as *The Leiden des Hugen Werthers and Les Femmes Savants*. Uh, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's the same shit. There's one, there's one here that's written in French. It is one of my favorite pieces. I, I, again, what again? If I mispronounce that, I apologize. I don't know these. Things. Obviously, pavane for a dead princess. A pavane is a type of slow, elegant dance. I see. Ah. Uh, well, <clears throat> I've explored all that shit. I didn't do much, but just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to. So I'm having my tea. I've been awaiting you for a long time, miss. You have. Yes, I have. <laughs> Although I do know it might sound strange, I... Huh? We've never met before, have we? <sighs> no, not like this. You may think of me as your guardian angel, miss. We'll always be here to protect you. I still have so many questions. I will try my hardest to give you the answers you're looking for. Then I... Uh, where are we? Where are we? We're in my home. I see. Do you live here all by yourself? <laughs> yes, I do. Although it does get quite lonely at times. That's the same shit that Fleta said before she started going bonkers. Harpe, yes. Oh no, I was just thinking it must be hard living alone. Oh, you're truly kind, miss. I just... No buts, miss. A true lady knows when to take a compliment. <laughs> and she's smiling. Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, miss. And they're both laughing. You have finally smiled. Thanks to you. That is the expression that fits you best, miss. I wish for nothing more than your happiness. And I will do everything in my powers to see you smile. Thank you, Harpe. And there goes a little smiles back. So, I still have one more thing to ask you about. If that's alright with you, go ahead. Do you know of a girl named Fleta? Fleta? I don't think so, miss. Although it does sound quite familiar. I see. Did anything happen? <laughs> oh no. I was just wondering if you've heard of her, that's all. That's... She was... She seemed pretty... She seemed pretty nervous. And the clock is ticking. Okay. Oh my. Time sure does fly bye when you're entertained doesn't it miss yes it does you should drink your tea before it cools uh, drink the tea drink the tea why would it give me a decision now this is tea bad or something well I s uh, pass on the drink oh no I'm fine thank you is that so uh I actually brewed that tea specially for you. That's 
Please, don't make such a pained expression, my girl. It is fine. I'm not upset. I just hope the tea would be to your liking. If that's the case, I'll drink it. There's no need to force yourself, miss. Oh, no, I insist. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh... Oh. Is everything all right? There's... What is it? Uh, there's something in my tea. Well, of course she's joking about it, so... What do you mean? There was something inside the teacup. I see. I'm sorry. I, I apologize, miss. No, no, it's all right, Harpe. I also overreacted. I truly am sorry, my girl. Is there any way I could ever compensate you? There's no need to compensate me, Harpe. I'm all right, and it wasn't that bad. But I... Your tea was delicious. Aw, oh, there she goes. Thank you, miss. Actually, I have prepared something else for you. Oh, Harpe, you didn't have to. Yes, I did have to, miss. Today is a very important day. It, it must be celebrated. What do you mean by that? So this episode, most of this episode is going to be mostly just dialogue. But at least, but, I mean, I can't go any, I can't go further without going through this first. So, yeah, I made this for you, my girl. Acquired hard paste cardigan. Is that a sailor suit? I hope you like it. This is so pretty, Harpay. Is it? Is this really for me? Of course. I made it myself, just for you. Thank you so much, Harpay. You're welcome, miss. She put it on. Excuse me. It does fit you well. I'm so glad. It's very comfortable, too. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice suit. Or a nice jacket, or whatever she's wearing. Thank you so much, Harpay. <laughs> You can stop thanking me, my girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take good care of it. Thank you, miss. Well, then. I should go make more tea. You must be quite thirsty. Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, no, I insist. I want to compensate you for what happened earlier. There's no need to, but all right. Now wait here for a little while. I'll be back soon. In the meanwhile, feel free to read some books. Thank you, Arpe. Okay. So I'm going to save the progress. File 10, because when I load up the game, I only had I could only save up to a maximum of 13, but I need to see what's going on. I'm hearing noises. Uh, so I heard that earlier, but I ignored it because I didn't think that was anything serious. Okay, so shh, a glass tray filled with various kinds of sweets and a teapot rest in the troll trollery. Should I investigate the tea? A glass tray filled with various kinds of sweets and tea, and tea pot rest on a trolley. Could I read the book now? It's too dark to read it. Can I leave too? I should wait here for heart pay. Then what am I to do? What should I do? Great variety of objects. She, she said I could read some, 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 a little some, some. A little some some, you know what I mean? A little some some. What was that? Gotta run over, gotta run over, gotta run over. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Gotta run down, gotta run down. No. It's happened somewhere, it happened somewhere. It's gotta be up here, probably. She does live by herself, so. Has to be somewhere over here. Is this where she's at? I wasn't able to get out before, but after all that glass breaking, I was able to now. What's what seems to be what seems to be the problem now? Or maybe I wasn't supposed to go over here. But I heard noise. Harpe? That's Father, look! I drew this for you. Do you like it? Yes, of course. Now listen here, my girl. Do you remember what I told you this morning? Yes, father. You must not pester me tonight, as I will be busy attending an important meeting. Understood. Yes, father. Now resume your studying. You mustn't waste time doodling aimlessly. Yes, father. 
Is there anyone else here? I'm hearing crying. This is a weird place. It's so windy outside. Whoa. Or should I I should I should go to the source of the, the sound? The murmurs of a crying girl could be heard through the door. That's Harpei crying. I'm, a, I'm guessing her father wanted her to study, but... I, I, I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna save this at file 11 this time. Actually, fuck it. I'm still here, so... Nothing different happened, so... So, let's... too dark. Do I need some sort of light? The blemish painting of a crying girl running through the dark woods wearing a badly torn gown. The bust of an important looking man. His m is m mensing, 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 well-defined features are deeply engraved into the marble. The blemish painting of a crying girl through the dark woods. Does that resemble heart pay by any chance? It's too dark. How am, I, how am I gonna be able to get through? I can go down more. And it got quiet. And I. Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. no, 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 no. Get out of there. <laughs> I was trying to back out of it. I shouldn't get too close. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go down. I don't think I can. Uh... But I want to know what that is about. Well, there's not much I can do. Let's just do this. I'm going to be spa saving spastically because you never know what the fuck is going to happen. You obviously don't. No one knows what, what happens. No one will ever know. What if I go through? Back. It's locked. Oh, well, that's that's fantastic. I can't go back now. I can't go that way because... Freaking... I just want, I just want to look through. I shouldn't get too close. I shouldn't get too close. Okay, but how am I supposed to... Wait a minute. Don't I have something in my inventory that can give off light, light or something? Or doesn't this have something? Don't I have any items that I can use? It's taking a while to load it up. Our pays card again. That has something to do with that. Oh, jeez. I didn't see this. Well, it didn't take so long for me to figure that out, but whatever. So there's something here. There's an open journal on this desk. I had never intended to break this family apart. This incident is nothing more than an unfortunate twist of fate, or so I want to believe. Wow. However, I have become unable to tolerate such outbursts of utter madness. To believe that this family has become nothing more than a vile beings plaything is completely outrageous and unacceptable. I shall take responsibility for your actions as my final loving gesture to you to gesture so that you may rest in peace. To you, my dear, I owe all the affection I could ever give you. Were you to live any longer. The rest of the pages are stuck together. Wow. So I can explore the area a bit for some clocks. Hands hang down loosely, weakened by the passage of time. And I found another pumpkin charm. That's nice. Don't know what I need to be doing with all this. With all this. Don't know what I need. There's a bit, there's no... Oh, whoa, hey, what the fuck? What's this? An old wax record. That was weird. That. 
surprised me out of nowhere. Discipline and Understanding Children's Psychology by Alfred Everett. Everett. Oh, it's a good thing there's not that much reading. This I can't read that. Okay, so I just need to basically just... These are all written in Braille. An old phonograph seems to rest on the ta table covered with dust and cobwebs. An old wax record. Could this be for, for this thing? Wax, wax record of V. Is this what I need to use? I am recording this. Do you view my... My children. My testimony of what I... Of our lives. And being who's... Hold of my beloved daughter's name. Everything mother could do for you. Hope is... Your pocket mirror, my girl. All that I can say. Deepest regrets are now burned for you. I know this voice. So this is the so this is referring to this girl, this character. Ah. Uh huh. There's a pile of letters on the floor. These all seem to be medical letters. After analyzing the patient's mental health these past few days, I can now securely state my diagnosis. It has come to my attention that the patient, Elise D. Hillig, has been having nightly visions, imbalance of bodily humors, and melancholia. Such behavior is not harmful to other members of the subject, subject's family. However, it is quickly wearing down the subject's health. The patient should spend their days at ease with moderate consumption of thin white wine, the practice of gentle exercise, warm baths, plenty of sleep, moderate carnal copulation, and exposure to soothing music. I shall pay the patient a visit a month from now to verify the progression of the symptoms. And who's this patient? This Elise? Wouldn't happen to be this character. Oh, these are stairs. Okay. Is that the, is that the name of my character? That I don't know. I won't know for sure. It's a really big Bible. So there's a bunch of, like, sounds and whatnot. Thing over here. Okay. What was that all about, game? No need to do that, you douche. That book dropped. This game gets creepier and creepier as I progress. What is this? The one on the left be the character that I am, and the one on the on the right is probably Harpe. It might be possible because the one on the left has a strong resemblance to the character that I'm playing with her ribbons on her hair. Yeah, right there. Wow. Why am I in that photograph? Oh, clock, str clock strikes 12. What's going on? I don't know what I should be doing now, but I should probably... I should probably make my way out of here now. I should probably get going. Maybe that would be s smart to do and save. Well, that box was closed, so that means I have... Uh, Advance to throw now? I'm gonna be all over my face cam. Editing is always a bitch when when it comes when it comes to me moving different directions. It's too dark. So So did that did that trigger anything maybe? Did that possibly trigger something? Maybe I can uh It's locked. I can't hear anything coming from this room. It's quiet now. That's where I was earlier with the wind. Is someone there? Yes. Please. 
I need your help. Uh, I've been hearing strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need you to get the key to this room for me. All right. Where is it? Solve this riddle and you'll find it. Listen closely. Ah, oh, goddammit, another riddle. Listen closely because I won't be repeating myself. Lurking in the shadows. Lost in dismay. Golden radiance lies unscathed. Awaiting the light of day. At dawn, excuse me. At dawn shall the beasts awake. Guided by the northern star, you must advance. Drawn by cheerful chirping, hope always follows. In search of guidance, turn to the heartful gallows. Announced by the bells is your demise. Should you not pray for eastern sunrise. The door opens as he draws near. Silence is your ally, clouded with fear. Wait, I don't understand. I don't either. You have to hurry. Now go. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> What the hell? Oscar, the crowd that startled me. So, oh, cause maybe because I was spritz. Son of a fucking bitch. Well, well, actually, no, I'm not staying in this. I'm not staying in this loading screen. He, not here either. It's silent now, but it, you could be hearing random noises. Okay. So I'm gonna wait for it to load up, and then I'll try that again. Okay. So we're gonna try again in the next video. In the next video, we'll try to solve that riddle. I, don't, I didn't understand what was going on. That was pretty creepy. Hopefully I get out of there soon. I don't even know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. It'll help me a lot. I'll greatly, greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.